Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope you're all doing well. We are in the month of Sha'aban and do you know that this is a very special month? The Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad has said that Rajab is the month of Allah. Sha'aban is my month, which means it's the month of the Prophet. And Ramadan, which is coming up next, is the month of my Ummah, which is us, the followers of Prophet Muhammad. So Sha'aban is the month of Prophet Muhammad, and it's such a special month because there are no sad days in this month. There are just birthdays and happy days. And one of the happiest days that we're celebrating in the month of Sha'aban is the birth of our Imam al-Mahdi, ajalallahu ta'ala farjahu sharif. If you don't know much about Imam al-Mahdi, you can watch my other video whereby we're learning a few things about Imam al-Mahdi. In this video, however, we're going to read a story. Where is my Imam? So this storybook was written by Marhuma Shalina Karmali. She was a beautiful person, inside out, and she was someone whom I knew. She has gone back to Allah. So before we read this story that she wrote, we're going to send her a gift. She has left this gift behind for us. This story that she has written is a gift for us that we can use every year and all the time to learn about where Imam Mahdi is. So let us give her a gift by reciting Asura Fatiha and Asura Ikhlas. Recite along with me. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar Rahmanir Rahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iya can abudu wa iya can as the reen. Idina Siratal Mustaqim. Siratal Ladina and Amta Alayhim. Wairil Mahu be Alayhim Walapalin. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul hu Allahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. Wa lam yakullahu kufu an ahad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. By the way, did you know, if you recite Surah Fatiha and Surah Ikhlas once each, you get the thawab of reciting the whole Quran. Isn't that amazing? Okay, let's get started. Where is my Imam? Where is my Imam? Written by Shalina Karmali, illustrated by Sakina Panju. One sunny Sunday afternoon, Maisam and Sumaya arrive home from their weekend Islamic school. Salam alaikum, children. How was Madrasa today? Mom asks. Wa alaikum salam, mommy. Both children answer. Sister Khadija taught us about the 12th Imam. His name is Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, Sumaya says. That's wonderful. Did you know that Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is the Imam of our time? Asks mom. You mean he's alive right now? Asks Maisam. That's right, mom says. Now come and eat your lunch before it gets cold. Did you know Imam al-Mahdi is alive? Later that day, Maisam and Sumaya go outside to play hide and seek. Come on, Maisam, where are you? says Sumaya. Sumaya looks up towards the sky and notices several soft and fluffy clouds gracefully floating in front of the sun. The sun is playing hide and seek too, thinks Sumaya. Boo! yells a familiar voice. Sumaya spins around and finds that her brother has found her instead. Where were you? asks Sumaya. In the best hiding spot ever, declares Mason with a huge grin on his face as he points towards the slide. At the end of the game, Sumaya asks, Mason, where is our Imam? We have to know where he is so that we can follow him. Mason looks around the backyard and thinks about his younger sister's question. Hmm, 
That's a good question. I don't know where he is. Let's go find him. Do you like playing hide and seek? I love playing hide and seek. Do you have a favorite spot that no one can find you when you're hiding there? Mine is under the table. Now you know my hiding spot. Both of them start walking together in search of the 12th Imam. They look behind trees and under park benches. Look, there is Ahmed and Anissa. Let's ask them if they know where our Imam is, suggests Maysam. Salaam alaikum, Maysam and Sumaya, Ahmed says. Where are you going? Wa alaikum salam, Maysam and Sumaya answer. We're trying to find the Imam of our time, but we can't find him anywhere, says Maysam. Ahmed and Anissa also do not know where the Imam is, so they join Maysam and Sumaya in the search. As the children continue looking for Imam Mahdi alayhi salam, they pass more trees, houses and stores, but they still cannot find their Imam. However, they do notice two more friends, Amar and Amira. After greeting each other, Sumaya asks, Do you know where the 12th Imam is? We want to find him so that he can guide us on the right path. Amira pauses for a moment and taps her chin thoughtfully. We have never looked for him before, but he must be around here somewhere helping people out. The large group of children keep searching for their imam. Along the way, they come across the mosque. Why don't we look for the 12th imam in the mosque? The mosque is like the house of Allah and he is an Imam of Allah, so he might be there, suggests Mason. Do you think he's going to be there, in the mosque? Have you ever looked for him at mosque? Let's find out. The children enter the mosque just as the teachers from the madrasa are leaving. Sumaya sees her teacher, Sister Khadija, come out and call her name. Sister Khadija, salam and alaikum again. We need your help. Wa alaikum salam, Sister Khadija answers. What are all of your children doing here long after the madrasa has finished? During madrasa, you said that Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is our Imam, our leader. We're trying to look for him so that we can follow him, explains Mason. But we can't find him anywhere. Do you think Sister Khadija knows where he is? Let's find out. Ooh, says Sister Khadija, seeing where all the confusion is coming from. Let me explain. Imam Mahdi alayhi salam is our leader, but he is in Ghaybat right now. He is living in this world, but Allah has made it so that we're not able to recognize him. Imam Mahdi alayhi salam was only five years old when he became the Imam of our time. His life was in danger. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept the identity of the Imam hidden to protect him from any enemies and to make sure that he is always here to guide us. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides the time is right, then our Imam will reappear and bring peace all over the world. But even now, Allah lets the Imam visit people in need if they call on him, explains Sister Khadija. Sumaya smiles. That's just like when we were playing hide and seek before, my son. You hid under the slide and I couldn't find you for a while. Even though I didn't see you, you were still there and could see me. That's right! Then I jumped out and surprised you, remembers Mason. But why does the Imam have to stay in Ghaybat for such a long time, wonders Amar. Sister Khadija explains, Allah will send the 12th Imam when there are enough faithful Muslims to help him. In the meantime, we must get to know our Imam better and increase our love for him. What should we do while we're waiting for Imam Mahdi alayhi salam? questions Mason. 
We should offer our salams to him every day, give sadaqah for his safety, volunteer in the community, and help people in need, and learn more about Islam and stay away from sins, replied Sister Khadija. Do you think you could do some of those things while you're waiting for the Imam? I think we can all do some of those things. We can help people, we can give sadaqah, we can say salam to him every day, we can recite some du'as for his safety, we can help other people and be kind. We can do it. How will we know when Imam Mahdi salam reappears? asked Ahmed. Allah will make his arrival known to the whole world. At that time, there will be a heavenly voice announcing that the Imam has reappeared. And if we are among the best of believers, then when we answer the call, we will all of a sudden be taken to Mecca to be with the Imam, describes Sister Khadija. Wow! exclaimed the children. So we don't need to look for him anywhere. Allah will send him when the time is right. Thank you for explaining that to us, Sister Khadija, says Sumaya. Can you tell us more stories about the 12th Imam? asked Sanisa. Sure, next week at Madrasa, answers Sister Khadija. But for now, let us recite the dua for the protection and safety of Imam Mahdi alayhi salam. Do you know the dua for the protection and safety of Imam Mahdi? You can recite along with me. It's dua al hujjah Okay. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma kulli waliyika al-hujjat ibn al-hasan. صلواتك عليه وعلى آبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة وليا وحافظا وقائدا وناصرا ودليلا وعينا حتى تسكنه أرضك طوعا وتمتعه فيها طويلا In the name of Allah, the most kind, the most merciful O oh Allah, send your blessings on Hujjat, son of Hassan, and your blessings be on his ancestors as well, right now and always, be his guide and protector and leader and helper and proof and guardian when it's time for his return he will obey you on earth please let him live here for a long time to come اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعجل فرجهم. Let's remember, Imam Mahdi is the Imam of our time. He is always present, he is alive, and he is here for us. He is just a call away. Call Imam Mahdi. Call Imam Mahdi.